GES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names, web hosting services, new customers save 25% by using promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 player. You can get a free trial over at audiblepodcast.com forward slash CES. CES coverage sponsored by Lexar Las Vegas. Get to the point. Rooms start at $40. See tpn.tv for Lexar advertisement, which is the gateway to savings. Good morning, Tom. Thank Good you for early. having me on this morning. <laughs> How's the show been for you so far? The show has been phenomenal. And um, everybody who's reviewed the product, looked at it, just been blown away by what it will do, and we'll get to talk about that today, yeah. and we're excited about it. Can you get your mic up just a little bit? Turn it up a little bit. Good. There we go. How's Good. that? Thanks. There we go. And we may have to have we Jack. Have soft voice. Yeah. Or you have, <laughs> and it's, it's, you, you've probably been talking for three days like we have. Uh, and yes. <laughs> yeah, your voice is going. <laughs> and my voice, and I'm not used to talking like that for three days. <laughs> <laughs> but to give you an idea how quiet it is here, you can see in the background there is nobody walking by because we're actually here before the show even opens. We're... It's a little after 8 o'clock here, uh, Pacific time, and it is an hour before the show opens, and there's nobody here. Yeah, it's, so. it's, it's definitely early. Okay, so, Roland, what, what have you got for a product? Well, what we're introducing here is the Andrea Superbeam line of headsets. It's a new technology for us that actually is built off of an older technology. Um, Andrea's been in the, uh, the speech recognition market for 15 years now, making yeah. quality headsets and audio drivers to enhance the intelligibility of voice. And we understand that with headsets, you know, there's a lot of people who don't like to wear headsets. They mm -hmm. lo have no problem wearing earbuds and headphones, but th they just don't like to have that microphone out in front of their face. Like you have right now. Like <laughs> I have right now. And so um, what we've been able to do is we have a technology, a microphone array technology, that today we license to both Dell and HP. And we were able to take that technology and build it into a pair of headsets. And by doing that, it eliminates the need to have a microphone out in front of your face. So when you're doing video conferencing and things like that, you now look natural. And you can, I don't know if we can see the, uh, the sample. Jack, can right we, yeah, can we get yeah. a Jack's uh, yeah. running around like a chicken with <laughs> his head cut off, adjusting yeah. cameras for us. Yeah. And what's really cool about this is we're going to be able to do that in an earbud style. So as, as you can see here in the camera, it has two microphones. Let's see if I can make it a little more visible for you. Here we go. Two microphones, one in each ear, oh. so you end up with binaural recording capabilities right at your ear. And in doing so, um, when you're in a, let's say, a voice communications, you want to do VoIP, we have our own algorithms, own filters, so we mm -hmm. can do beam forming that actually guide and direct the microphones to, to look in front of your face while rejecting the background noise. That's cool. And then what's even cooler from my perspective is that when you're not in a voice, you know, VoIP communications mode and you want to capture a moment, a memory, mm -hmm. you turn off all of our filters and because it has the microphones right by your ear, it captures the audio in phase and in time live like it's going into your ear. So when you play it back, it literally puts you right back in that moment and you capture everything around you in a surround sound type of recording. So it's two modes where it actually catches your voice and yes. cancels out everything else. Right. And then the same micro other microphones are used to actually capture the surrounding. You use it in two applications, correct. Right. So one mode would be voice over IP where you don't want to have you know, right. the noise in the background when you're sitting at the coffee shop trying to mm -hmm. conduct yeah. business or the, you got the mode where you want to capture a moment, you know, either garage band or maybe just a memory at a, at a special event. You know, you might put them on do a recording, and it will literally capture everything in the room. Wow. So how, how well does it actually capture your voice? I mean, if you have these microphones you know, right at your ear level, would you like to try it out? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think it would, I think we'd like to. I, it, it, you're probably going to have to take your headset off to do this. But here's the thing that is interesting. You know, we had op thought about here using the over-the-ear headsets with the microphone that came up. We did some mm -hmm. cross-testing here. The hall, as the day goes on, noise comes up, 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 up. Yes. And even though we have mics that are very directional, we're still getting a lot of background noise yeah. from the mm -hmm. from the uh, from the hall. So, how has it been in? Uh, I love to hear this in a noisy hall, but how have these been in the hall when you've had people testing them with all the background noise well, going on? We did the demonstration of this at Showstopper, which is a hall. It's, oh my! Yeah. It's yeah, very exploding. Noisy yeah, with noise. People were just blown away because we have in our filters we have actually what we call a light beam forming which is more of like your coffee shop mode right. it's going to be it's going to be noisy but it's not mm -hmm. like a trade show yep. 
Then we have the aggressive beam forming. And aggressive beam forming is so aggressive of taking everything else away that it also may affect your voice a little right. bit. Right. But it, you're still very clear, but it's going to change. Mike. So you're almost address you're almost taking um, some of the technology we use when we do audio recording to look at certain frequencies, and you're just killing those, right? Yeah. Or, or using the microphones to cancel out. We do. To well, cancel out like the I really can't. I really don't know exactly what right. we're doing because you can use the, the noise reduction or A and R type of technology right. that you're talking about, Tom. Or you can. I know that the algorithms do look for a lot of repetitive stuff, mm -hmm. which they'll take out. When we get into the aggressive, I guess I'm, I'm not sure if it's doing a combination of it both or what, but it very it does. So, so how would it be attack everything? So how would it be if you're in a, in a concert and you're trying to do a recording and you have all this music and stuff coming on? Uh, one, one example was we were trying to do well some interviews over in yeah. the North Hall and they had some DJ. Uh, I don't think you're going to overcome anything like that. That <laughs> guy was at 120 <laughs> decibel. Yeah. Why don't you give yeah. this a try and let's let's uh, let's see what it. Uh well, this is the product's going to be available both in earbuds and in on the ear style. We have a working model of our on the ear. Okay. This product will be available in June, and so. So I'm basically, it's the same thing. It has the microphones. It has, as you can see, it has the two microphones. Let's see if we can. Yeah. You know, so one in each. One in each. So it has the one microphone here yeah. to capture the normal your voice. Yep. Then it has the ambiance. No, no, no. Just these two mics. Oh. And we're using we're using the, these two microphones here. You're thinking more of like A and R, where mm -hmm. you have one here, one over here. Right. Exactly. And you do what you know a, a reverse phase, so that it's 180 degrees out of phase. Right. So you can't noise canceling, right? Yes. Right. We're not doing that with this. Um, oh. We're using more of our algorithms that are in the drivers to look at that, look at repetitive noise. Ah, and we're so it's it very intelligent. Yes, yeah, so it focuses the microphone. So when we're in the, we'll call it the uh, um, surround or music mode, you mm -hmm. want to record, we'll call it music for for, the f for an easy explanation, um, it's pretty much just looking for everything. Mm -hmm. But when we put the beam forming on, it now takes and directs the microphones to look right in front of your face. So it's looking forward here, mm -hmm. okay? And then it says, okay, it knows how to separate everything else and take that out huh. of it. So I wonder, because you're, you're actually talking in mono and it gets that into both microphones, maybe it uses that to sense what it should capture and what it shouldn't? I'm sure that the uh, the software engineer could give you a complete <laughs> explanation <laughs> that, of what he's that doing. Patent pending? <laughs> well, it is already patented, and that's the, that's the beauty of it. Okay, Most of so I'll go ahead and the put these on. There we go. It's okay. It's nothing but a thing. Yep. <laughs> no, it didn't, it didn't snap us too loud. So yeah, if we only had XLR input for that, we could plug it up and listen to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he's uh, uh Okay, what we're going to do, you, you, <laughs> you can't hear us. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to actually turn on our voice recorder, that which we already have in our suite here, and I'm going to have you just talk. And then I'm going to actually have to take my headphone off because I'm going to want to walk around a little bit and talk so we can have some background noise. So when okay. you hear it back, you can hear the surround sound. And b unfortunately, because it's so quiet here, when I come back and turn the all the other filters on, yeah, you're not going to get the, the as big of a wow effect because we don't have a lot of background noise yep. to take out. But uh, I, I'll do some walking around after that too, so you can see how it takes the voice out. So let me take my headset off. I, you're gonna have to hold that closer if you're gonna. I think he turned Actually, that. I turned him down. You want to back up? Yeah, turn, turn that one back there up. We go. Okay. Okay. So here I go. I'm gonna go ahead and start the recording. If you just go ahead and talk. Okay, well, I guess we're, this is uh, a test recording from, from CES 2011. And you're going to come around and, and actually talk around me. And I'll walk over here and, and talk over here. You can't go very far. Can't go, yeah, I can't, I can't go very far. So <laughs> uh, you know, it seems like an odd thing. I here. think I'm the only one with the mic on, and everybody else is running around and talking and making a lot of noise. We've three sponsors here, which is Lexar, Audible, and GoDaddy.com. Okay. Filters. Uh, we'll just put the noise canceling one on first. I'll oh, keep talking. Keep talking. Okay. So, so, so Tom, do you think this is really? Well, I don't know what we're doing. Here. <laughs> now, light beam forming on. Yeah, uh, we're light beam forming. So, yeah, I like the controls on this camera. So we're making sure there's plenty pretty, of background. Pretty noise. nice. And then, yeah. yeah, we need more noise. Car. And then, <laughs> there we go. There's the aggressive. Actually, we need all the people in the background just walking yeah. around. But well, this is kind of fun. <laughs> okay. Yes. Right. Well, glad we're doing this without anybody watching. This and, is and this, yeah, this is exactly the right time to do it. Now, and now I've turned all the filters off, so we're back to surround sound. Okay. Okay, you're good. So let's go ahead and stop and let you, let you hear it back in your ears. Okay. Actually, put the uh, mic by his uh, uh, computer speaker, and we can listen to that. Oh, he's gonna wear it, listen to it in the headset. I'd like to bring the headset up. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do the playback. 
So you're gonna have to tell us how it. He should have been here yesterday afternoon. It was cacophonous yesterday <laughs> afternoon. And, <laughs> and right now it's no filtering, right? Right. Right now we're doing no filtering. It's actually playing back what we just recorded. So Tom is listening to all that noise. Yeah, that's kind of the that's kind of the experience we get from people he, when they he, like they look he, around. He laughed because yeah. it, the the filtering went into effect. He probably was laughing because of the surround sound. A lot of times when we demonstrate I this. Still hear the other people talking though, right? Yeah, that's because you're still on surround sound. We haven't got to the noise canceling yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll hear me on the recording say when I'm putting the filters on. Yeah, and a lot of folks when they hear it play back. They, they they look at you like you are yeah. you talking to me? No, I'm not talking to you. That was the recording. <laughs> yeah, I, I can tell when the filter comes when the filter comes on, you can actually hear. Uh, you, we can't hardly hear you. Yeah, when the filter comes on, you can actually hear my voice there, kind of isolated, and the rest of it in the background. Yes, it's still there just a little bit, but it's but I can definitely see where it would be. Yeah, and I think noise. if you had listened a little further, we would have gone to the aggressive, and that's when you should have heard us just pretty much go away totally. Okay. Yeah. Because you can see on the, the graphic display here, see where the, right. here's where we're surround sound, and then the filters kick in. You see how everything kind of gets reduced a little reduced, bit. Reduced, and then we get over here, that's where the aggressive kicks in. You see how it takes yeah. literally everything out. It's yeah. also hard to talk when you have everybody else talking. Yeah. Yeah. Too. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I can definitely tell that it is, it does, does work. It actually adds a little bit of, uh, kind of adds, takes away some of the, uh, the highs too. When you go aggressive, yeah. Probably it, some of the filtering. Because of the filtering, on. yes. Yeah. yeah. And when you're on the aggressive, it takes a little more of the highs away because it's really trying to take away yeah. all that background noise so that it's just your voice that's being transmitted. Yeah, well, I think that, that's, that's pretty uh, pretty useful for trying to do some you things. Wa you want to come back up on the headset? Yeah, one thing that I, I guess the question I have is, is then from a usability standpoint, um, I see that you've got, uh, you know, some, it looks like an EQ there and some other stuff, but from a, from a consumer standpoint, are you, are you will the interface be the same as what's on the screen, or will you have a little bit different interface? Well, we're going to simplify the interface so that when you we have, Maybe if you we look at show the interface, if you yeah. turn that computer to yeah. up here, I can probably oop, go up yeah, and we yeah. can come in on it. Yeah, he can kind of rearrange. The there we are. Yeah. So this this is our our interface that we have today that we're using that goes with all of our digital. Um, USB sound cards, and we've we've gone this route because that way we can control the quality of both the transmit and, and receive signal. Right. And in a suite, we have you know this is your playback. We have an equalizer. Um, we have you know um, the way of re recording it and setting your mic gains. And over here, you can see that we have these pull downs where it sets noise canceling. So I didn't turn noise canceling on the receive on during any of this demonstration, but we also have that same technology available so if you're on a Skype call you can just click on the noise canceling and it will take away that noise on the receive call coming in so if they may have a lot of ventilation noise hmm. you're talking to somebody who's picking up the ventilation or whatever you click on that it'll, it'll clean up their voice for you so that's, that's more of a filtering like a low pass or a high pass type it's filter. yeah it's actually al our algorithms that go in and look at it and says you know you've got system or, or ventilation noise that's very repetitive repetitive and it looks right. at that and says boom I'm gonna take that out right. and what we're going to do is, is actually put, you know, we have all these presets and um, make it a little simpler to say, okay, I want to do voice over IP. So when we click on that, it's going to turn on the noise canceling on the microphone side. It's going to turn on the mm -hmm. beam forming on the microphone side. But if I want to do a stereo recording, I just click on the stereo recording button and it will turn all the filters off so that you're now in a surround sound type of recording mode. So that'll mm -hmm. be pretty straightforward. I mean, for somebody who wants to drill down, I mean, on the presets here for... Here we go. For the equalizer, we have like 20 some odd presets. They can actually create their own mm -hmm. and save that preset on that on here. So whenever they're listening to a music, they can okay. I want I want my preset there. So okay. the, all, all these uh, noise canceling capability stuff does it have to be at the time that you're recording or the time that you you have the microphone plugged in, or can you go after the fact and apply those filters to the uh, recording? Well, you can no. You, well, you have to use the record these these filters on the microphone side at the time you're recording. recording. Okay. okay, so it's it's live and present. It's not an after um, processing. So you're not not storing the raw audio Correct. coming in, Correct. And being able to actually analyze it and, and use it later. Right. Now you could take 
you could take the information, as I was talking yeah. about earlier, and you can actually save the file. So this recording we've made, I can save that. I can send it email. I can just keep it on mm -hmm. my computer, put it on a stick, do whatever I want with it. Right. So if someone's recording something at home and they want to, they can, well, the other thing we see a good application for this is that when you look at these kids who are doing like YouTube, you know, yep. YouTube supports stereo audio, but most of what they're recording on is mono. So when they, you know, I can see these kids who now will start to use this product because now they're going to have a much better audio experience when they upload the product, upload their video onto YouTube, and when they bring it back down, you as the, you, the listener is going to have a completely different audio experience. It's going to be a st complete stereo s surround mm -hmm. sound. It's going to make you sound like you're there. Mm -hmm. It's going to put you right in that right that same moment. Well, I like the form factor. I mean, I like the idea that there's no mic like we have right now kind of sticking in your, in your face. And for us, I mean, it, it, that like, we think will cover most people. I mean, there's always going to be applications w like this mm -hmm. where you need to have an aggressive noise canceling mm -hmm. solution. Right. But right. for the average user who's going to be, you know, yeah. a road warrior, or, you know, yep. urban and I, professional. I do Skype calls from airports, from red carpet, from exactly. you, you name it. Yeah. And, you know, oftentimes I've used uh, some... I, one time, another manufacturer had a, s a short little boom mic that worked pretty good, but I could see where this could be pretty handy. So, have you? Are you going to be? Is, have you set a price point on this yet? Is yes, this we, is we it, have is set a price point. Uh, it, the price point on the earbuds is going to be uh, 129, and on the on the ear, it's going to be 149. And we're actually going to have a gaming version of this, which with a big circumoral headset, um, which will come out at around 199. These two, the first two products, the on-ear and the earbuds, will be available in June. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you actually use use this, uh, all the controls and stuff, uh, I guess, in line with another program? Using something else to do a recording? Let's say you're, you're recording this thing with Skype and you want to, you have something yeah, else that's recording. Yeah, I mean, because all this really does is become your interface into the, the processor. Okay. Okay. So it's in line with yeah. the, your, uh, your, your mic? Correct. Okay. Correct. I mean, I recorded it here, but if we were just using the mic, it would just feed that, take that mic input and feed it directly with into, all the, the filters and into stuff. whatever application you're running with all the filters. Yes, all the filters and everything will be right there, and you can use it for everything, you know, yeah. Skype, you name it. That's, I mean, that's, for us, that's the beauty of it is we're just basically giving you a more intelligibility on the voice right. as well as a, the ability to record that surround, mm -hmm. that, capture that moment, mm -hmm. and then you can do it play you know go right into whatever application you want to run it on right. i just think it's cool that the uh, headphones built right into yes the, i know it's the mics, i mean yeah. the mics that yeah. built right it's into great the great form factor yeah is this available for mac too yes it is we mac? matter of fact our products are available on mac today mac and okay. windows Good. and we'll have a white white version of both for <laughs> mac users so if they want the white they can get the white mm -hmm. Outstanding. Well, where can people find more information on this now? Well, they can go to, on this product, um, we've got our press release has been, been um, released, and it's actually on our web page. So okay. if they can go to andreelectronics.com, they'll see it right on our, our home page at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jack, let me load uh, IDJ up. When it will be available? Yes, it will be available in June. June. Okay. Let's see here. Let me if I can bring this up. Uh, I don't think that's it. Andrea Electronics, is it? <laughs> An Andrea Electronics. A-N-D-R-E-A Electronics. Dot com. Yeah, I don't think that's it. Okay. There well, you there go. There we go. So it's up on the website. Yep, we, we're showing yep. it up on the webpage. And so uh, if you scroll down, you'll see the press release right there in the t right here. Okay, the new, it's, the it's, new it's section. It's in the news section. So. Right. And you can click on that, and it'll give you the press release with images very cool so folks if you go over to andrea electronics.com you get more information on this particular product and of course we'll have this video up um, post show on the roku boxy samsung ipt in various distribution points to be able to re-watch this later and we'll have it uh, up on the blog here probably within the next week or so but uh, Roland, thanks for coming out. I know Roger. it was early for you this morning. My pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, nice gentlemen. Thank and you. I, I wish you the best of luck with Thank the rest you. of the show. And uh, it's uh, hopefully we have as much traffic. The traffic's been great, hasn't it? The traffic's been phenomenal. Actually, I was you know yesterday, um, it slowed down just a little bit. Um, but Friday, I was just like, where are all these folks coming from? Yeah. Yep. Thursday was a lot of traffic. Yep. What would you expect a typical CES? But for yep. whatever reason. Friday was just mobbed. It was like a sea of people here. Yeah. Yep. They said there's, I heard unofficially like 130 
was the numbers for the show. So the taxi cab drivers are saying 140. So I, I tend to believe the taxi cab drivers. Taxi cabs, <laughs> yes. I know the lines have been long. They yeah. Yeah. Been getting the taxi cabs. They've been very long. Well, gentlemen, thank you very well, much. Thank you very I appreciate much. it. Well, thank thank you. you. Enjoy the show. Thanks. You too. Good luck.